plans to pursue civil action after he says he was falsely accused of molesting his son. Charges were dropped today against Joshua Kimbrell. The solicitor says there is insufficient evidence in this case. He talked first tonight to WYFF News 4. Tonight, Kimbrell sat down with Liz Loheis. I was confident this day of vindication would come. We're, we're just glad it's finally here. Joshua Kimbrell says it was a custody battle that turned ugly. The conservative radio show host says his ex-wife falsely accused him of sexually assaulting their three-year-old son. The most personally damaging part was being accused of harming the person that I most love in this world. Last October, Kimbrell was charged with a sex crime. Today, that charge was dropped. The solicitor says there was insufficient evidence in the case. She's made these allegations repeatedly. So in terms of hurt there, you know, I was largely numb to it. I was hurt by the fact that the city of Greenville would allow this to happen. Kimbrell says he went four months without seeing his son. It's really sad to wake up on Christmas morning and, and not see your own child. They were reunited a couple of weeks ago. I don't know who cried more, my little boy or me. Moving forward, Kimbrell says, will be a long process. He asked me questions I frankly don't know how to answer, so I know he struggles with it. You know, he asked me, Daddy, where did you go? Uh, what have you been doing? Did you want to see me? And of course, the answers are, of course, I wanted to see you. Kimbrell says he has gotten a lot of support from the community and his listeners, but there is a lot of damage that he says can't be repaired overnight. Being uh, falsely accused, falsely imprisoned, uh, your face plastered on television as a criminal. Kimbrell plans to pursue civil action against his ex wife for defamation and slander. He is also pushing for reform in the justice system. Those who are responsible for ensuring justice in this incident perpetrated a grave injustice against my son, my family, and against me. We were unable to get in touch with the solicitor or Kimbrell's ex wife for a comment. Liz Lohheis, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.